We're Brian at a point on the road again here today at Grimsby Town. Can we just have your overall thoughts on that 90 minutes? I think it was a game of two halves. They got the early goal. Um, we reacted well, put the pressure on, got the um, got the equaliser. Um, second half, you know, the wind was very, very strong. Um, the majority of the football was in our half of the pitch, um, but the lads dug in, stood up and recounted like men, and um, I couldn't be more proud of them. It really was about digging in after, you know, an early disappointment of, you know, a little bit of a fortunate goal from their behalf, but you must be pleased with how your side reacted. 100%. It's that character and that spirit we spoke about, you know, every game that we've been involved in um, under my tenure, we've only lost by one goal if we've lost a game of football and that's due to their spirit and their character and never say die attitude um, and they needed all of that out there today if they're going to come away with anything today they needed to be able to fight because it was it was a horrible pitch horrible conditions and we needed men out there and we got that 100 percent and like i said um it wasn't one for the purists I want to play this um, lovely brand of football, but you can't do that unless you're going to um, meet, meet teams in the middle of the pitch and, and win your battles and win your duels and um, stand up like men and be counted, and that's what they were. So I'm so, so proud of them. And it certainly seemed that way with that particular style that you want to play. When the ball was on the floor, from our perspective, we seemed a much better side, and those balls into the box, you know, it certainly paid dividends when we got the goal right and stroke at half time. Yeah, like I said, it was um, a game of two halves. The wind was strong, so first half we were able to pin them in a little bit and um, get the ball out wide, put crosses in the box and then recycle it again and, and start other attacks. But in the second half it flipped and, and, and they had the advantage of the wind. But um, no, I wasn't too interested um, in footballing performance out there today. I was interested in um, grit, determination, desire to see Walsall Football Club um, over the line and in, in the EFL League 2 next season and to do that we needed to come away from Southend with at least a point and we needed to come away from Grimsby with at least a point and um, that's what they've done, they've, um, they've managed to do that and now we focus on um, Harrogate. And another strong performance from somebody you really praised on Tuesday night, Tom Leake, going up against a completely different type of player in James Hansen today, somebody who might not come up against the development football and youth team football, but I thought again he was he was excellent. He was, he grew into the game and it was a difficult game for him. Like you say, there's their front three, I think they're probably over 500 EFL starts, so um, you're coming up against some real experience that have been around the block and um, you know, Leaky, like I said, he, he grew into the game. These young pups, they'll cost me points, 100% they will cost me points, um, but if you believe in them, you've got to suffer that, haven't you? And, um, and, and understand that um, for them to develop and gain experience, that sometimes it will cost you points. And, um, you know, Leaky has had two tests and he's come through both now. But special mention for Sam Perry. I thought Sam Perry was phenomenal. He's, um, he was, it was as if he'd played 500 EFL starts. He, he managed to um, hook things on when he needed to and play direct football, but he also showed that calmness and composure to then start attacks for us. I thought he was outstanding. Special mention to James Clark. Broke his nose, I think, in the first three minutes. How that wasn't a red card, I'll never know. Didn't bat an eyelid, um, just got back on the pitch, gone on with it like a proper man and a proper captain. So got to be a special mention for him um, Manny Osadibi, Liam Kinsella you know all these boys Matt Sadler 30, 36 years of age Matt Sadler and he's having, having to be rolled out my assistant manager um, Callum Mollett when he came on the two front boys the two front boys what a shift they've put in there for the team you know very difficult game from feeding on scraps and they've absolutely left everything out on that pitch um, if I'm missing any of us, the, the, the subs that were um, come on, the, the staff that was in behind it, the subs that didn't come on, all the positive energy from them behind the bench, everybody to a man just stood up and, 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 and gave everything for the badge today. And um, like I said, as manager of the football club, I couldn't be prouder. And you asked for almost a reaction from Tuesday night, for a game that you were disappointed with the performance on how the team didn't kick on. but everybody showed today that they are willing to give everything didn't they 
Yeah, the South End game, I was disappointed with the quality because they've gone down to 10 men and, um, you know, we've got to play intelligent football then. We've got to understand that there's an overload to be had and we've got to work the ball. So that's what I was most disappointed about. Um, these two fixtures, South End and Grimsby, um, I'm sure they'll be the most difficult fixtures um, we've had on this running because they've got nothing to lose. They're going out there with the spirit of everyone thinks we're down. Um, everyone's um, wrote us off so we're going to take some risks we're going to ask questions and and they play um, they play football in a in a carefree manner you know they're not as tense as what they were so they were very very difficult fixtures and um, like i said to keep them at arm's length to keep the wolves away from the door um, is credit to these boys and their mentality oh!